As stormwater washes over a landscape, it picks up everything that is there, and that includes pet waste, it includes oil and greases, litter. So of particular health concern then would be untreated animal waste. And when we get a lot of stormwater flowing into river systems and stream systems, we can increase the amount of pathogens. Those are disease-causing organisms. The recommendations from the Center for Disease Control and the Environmental Protection Agency are to avoid any contact with floodwaters because of what we just talked about. Those floodwaters are carrying all sorts of pollutants and contaminants that we don't know as of yet. If you do come into contact with those floodwaters, wash your hands with soap and water very well before you eat. Uh, if you have open wounds, don't let that floodwaters get into contact with them. Just exercise great caution if you are in an area that has floodwaters. If you're on a municipal system and your service has been disrupted, be sure to find out if the water is okay to drink. In some cases, the water will be just fine. In other cases, that municipal system will issue a report to tell you whether or not the water is safe to drink through boiling, through it's fine, just go ahead and drink it from the tap water, or hold off and don't drink it. If your private well system gets overtopped, you should first be very cautious if there's an electric supply system to it. Be very careful of going out and turning that pump supply system on if the water is still flooded. After the floodwaters recede, it's good to go out, take a look, run a check on your system, see are there any cracks. If it's been overtopped, you will absolutely want to have either a professional water test done or you can collect a sample and send it off to a lab yourself. But the recommendation is have that water tested before you drink it, before you bathe in it, before you wash any clothes in it. The Department of Environmental Management has a current list of labs that have been approved by the Environmental Protection Agency for bacterial testing and also contaminant testing and chemical testing. The Auburn University Water and Soil Testing Lab is also able to provide some tests. We do worry about drinking water for pets and for livestock. If there's been an event where you are concerned about contaminants getting into your drinking water, take a pond sample and again, consider taking it to Auburn University's Soil Water Test Lab and check with your regional extension agent. We have pond agents who can help talk through what those pond samples should look like. And of course, we can work with you to help understand what those ranges that are optimal for your livestock are.